Game Boy, Mandate here, bringing you guys another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends No Way Home, Marvel's Armadillo, Build a Figure Wave, Spider Man Integrated Suit. Q Intro. <laughs> So, before we get to the review, please make sure to leave a like in the video. Click the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified to do a new video. So, Spider-Man No Way Home, it's a really good Spider-Man movie. Uh, he doesn't get this suit until the climax of the movie. I'm not going to spoil you anything, but what I do know, or what I could say is, two famous people, two well-known people who played Spider-Man before... Um, or in the movie, as well as the older villains like Dr. Octopus, Electro, Green Goblin, and Sandman. That's all I could say for that. Um, yeah, it was a pretty nice movie. I like seeing the other suits that he had. Um, but anyway, enough of me rambling. Uh, you... The integrated suit comes in this generic in this generic Marvel Legends window box packaging, showing the Legend series uh, above. Below that, you have the Marvel Studios logo, with the Spider-Man No Way Home logo, and showing you that's the integrated suit Spider-Man. On one side, you have this cool image of Spider-Man, which is integrated suit, and each uh, character has this uh, symbol, so knowing from what wave it is. On this side, the same image up there. On the top, you got this Bar Varnish logo of Joni. On the back side, you got to read up. Pause it now if you want to read it. And then here is all the figures on the wave to make Armadillo. I have already have this one, so I'll do a review on him later. And I just skip all these because I only liked these two Spider-Man because I bought the Walmart exclusive with the Peter Parker head sculpt. And I'm only going to use it for this. So yeah, let's open up uh, Integrated Suit Spider-Man and see how he looks. Here is the Integrated Suit out of its packaging. So before we take a look at the figure, we'll take a look at the accessories. And it came with the field. So we get uh, two sets of hands. We get uh, whipping hands and fisted hands. So let's take a look at each one. So here are the <clears throat> fisted hands. As you guys can see here, I like that color. It gives it a little... Yeah, I like the color. I like the black and red on it. Um, I wish Hasbro kept uh, um, underlining the web cloud patterns. Uh, but you guys can see here, there is a little bit of um, detail in the suit. It feels weird detail but and this is a fisted hands and then here are the two thwipping hands they're all the same but you can look at more the detail on that there is the other one and then here is the other fisted hand So yeah, that's what it came with. Also, another thing I need to mention. Uh, he also comes with these two web uh, shooter gauntlets. So uh, when you pull out the, the hands out of it, uh, the two web shooter gauntlets may will sometimes fall, fall out or something like that. So I recommend either super glue it. Or give it some kind of sticky substance so it won't leave. So, I mean, it won't leave so it won't fall. And then you could just add in, given the fists or the whipping hands. So, like this one here. But if you do, if but if it does come out, it has a little grooves right there. You could see there where it belongs. So, so basically, just put it in like that. And then. Put in the flipping hand just like this, and there you go. And that's how you put the hands on uh, Spider-Man. So let's look at Spider-Man himself. 
Now here is Spider-Man. I'm gonna put some images on on the corner to you guys to show you guys how the uh, suit looks. But looking at it, <clears throat> I do like the suit. I like how the spider here is sculpted in. The uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, he doesn't get this suit until the climax of the movie. It's just the um, part of the Iron Spider mixed with his upgraded suit. That's the only thing. Um, but I do like the detail that they give it to this figure. Most Marvel Legends don't have uh, detail on their costume. Like, this one does have detail. Uh, also, the upgraded suit Spider-Man from the uh, uh, Far From Home had that special detail on it. But the newer Walmart one did not, which will be in the video and link description below. So you guys could see that review. If not, there will be an eye card. But yeah, it does have peg holes in the bottom of the feet. There's the gauntlets. I do like how it has a separate color there. On both of them. It's pretty much, like I said, it's the upgraded suit mixed with the uh, Iron Spider suit. Nanobots. And then let's see how he looks like with the Peter Parker head sculpt from the Spider-Man No Way Home upgrade to. So yeah, that's a plus. It looks good. Uh, you'll see him a lot without his uh, mask in the entire movie. So it fits right in perfectly. And the only difference between uh, this suit compared to the uh, Ultimate, uh, not the Ultimate, the upgraded suit, is it has the uh, power driver head thing on it or something like that because this this is the head sculpt this is the uh so this is for the spider-man so this is the bolt peg for the spider-man and this is the bolt peg for the uh upgraded suit so they're both the same bolt pegs the only difference is this one has a hinge that goes down like this and this is just in a bolt peg bolt joint that goes up down left and right just like that but anyway going back to it yeah it, it gives it a pretty nice look from from like the movie pretty much everything and i'm going to show you some images on how he looks like without the mask from the movie but yeah again though i wish hasbro gave it a little bit of a black wash on that so yeah now let's look at the articulation one thing i forgot to mention is uh the two head sculpts have different the two head sculpts here had two different uh eye forms so you could change it in between for stop motion just to have to one eye moves one you, you get what i'm saying but yeah let's head to the articulation so for the uh, integrated suit, uh, Spider-Man, the head is in a bull joint, looks up this much like that, looks down this far like that, left, right, arms can move outward, inward, and they do have that butterfly joints, an uh, up crunch like that, and that uh, up crunch pops, and looking at the up crunch, they do fully paint it there because most Marvel Legends they don't paint it there. Waist swivel, upper bicep swivel, double jointed knee elbows. Sorry, double jointed elbows. Sometimes it's hard. A twist on the wrist and the hinge goes down and up for that. The legs that kick out this much inward. Kicks out for that much, kicks back that much, uh, has double jointed knees, there is no boot cut, and the hinge up, down, and then it does have the ankle pivot. So here is the, in, the integrated suit with the upgraded suit. They're both vastly different. Um, it's, I mean, it's the same suit, but mixed with the uh, nanobots. And then look at the back side. There. The front masks for both Spider Man. 
There's the back side of it. There's a difference right there. I really think this is a great uh, Spider-Man figure. Um, I know uh, SHV Lords might do one, but uh, for now though, as a collector, I prefer for you guys to get uh, the um, Marvel Legends integrated suit. And uh, yeah, and before I go, um, I may do a review on this one tomorrow, if not this upcoming Saturday. So please stay tuned for that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time in a brand new uh, Marvel Legends figure.